Well, just look at this horrible, muddy conditions. One might feel that it would uh, favor the Europeans, but no, the East Africans, Ethiopia and Kenya, again showing that they can run on any conditions. The local team, Belgium, will be hoping to go well in this, the men's short race. This is over four kilometers, a distance that was introduced by the IAF to these championships in 1998 to give a chance to the middle distance runners as well as the long distance specialists of cross country running. So we now have championships at both long distance and middle distance for both the men and the women. The men's race hold over about four kilometers and again, Kenya and Ethiopia have been totally dominant. Kenyans, in fact, uh, first, second, and third in 1998 and 2000, and first and second in 1999. And it would be a surprise if there was anything different in this race today. And again, those red vests and black shorts of the Kenyan team, prominent early on. The runners include John Kibawen, twice the winner of this event, 1998 and 2000. He wears 3.16, but head up now, number 3.24, Ben Limo, distinguished track runner and indeed the other winner of this race before he won it in 1999. But just look at that horrible mud there. Very wet. Not so bad, actually, uh, um, in terms of there is some support for the runners a little bit further down below that sticky surface. 324, Ben Limo, prominent, the other Kenyans. Enoch Koech, 320, a youngster just in the lead now. He's a newcomer to the Kenyan team, but he won the Kenyan trials at four kilometers. Any man who can do that will obviously fare well. And just behind him, representing Ethiopia, Kenanisa Bikili, too, ran very well indeed, right prominent in the senior ranks uh, and the track last year, and now running in the short race for the first time, having been prominent as a junior before. So that's the end of the first lap with the Kenyans, the Ethiopians, Bulami of Morocco, the top steeplechaser, also going well there. 467, John Yuder of Tanzania. 527, Brad Hauser of the USA. The Americans having quite a good day. Their team packing quite well in this race as we look down as the runners spread out. But the Europeans certainly well back off the pace in this men's short race with the Africans from Kenya and Ethiopia dominating the early positions here. 3 2 0, oh, that's Enoch Koech running for Kenya for the first time in these championships with more experienced runners around him. 3 2 4, Ben Limo just behind him. Then uh, Bekili of Ethiopia, also Hailu Mekkanen, who was the junior champion in 1999 and the world indoor record holder for two miles. He wears number 190. 314 on the inside, Cyrus Kataron of Kenya, third in the world junior 5,000 meters last year. But already they're stretching well away from the field at about the, just uh, three quarters way through this men's short race. You can then see how the teams are going. Certainly Kenya and Ethiopia look to have got the first two places wrapped up amongst them. But the Americans going quite well. Oh, Moroccans also. They might contend with the Ethiopians. But look at the ranks of the Kenyans up there. All six members of their team in the top ten placings. Mekanen, 190, just leasing a little bit of ground there. So to 181, Dagny Alamu, the other Ethiopian. Sixth in the Olympic, 5,000 metres. But it's the two youngsters at the head of affairs, Enoch Koech of Kenya and Kenanisa Bikili of Ethiopia. Then Cyrus Kataron of Kenya. This is 320 Koech. Looking very good indeed on his senior international debut. Opening up a bit of a gap now. This could be crucial in such a short race. Seems to be bidding to get away, even from his teammates. Kataron following. Then 324 Ben Limo. Then the Ethiopian Bakili. Kenya 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. They are surely on their way to yet another team victory. It'll be four in four years of this short course race. A couple of Ethiopians prominent, but uh, can't quite see their fourth man at the moment. They may just be struggling a little bit for the second place against the Moroccans, who are packing very well indeed. Quite misty here, murky conditions. Spectators quite difficult to uh, see the runners. 
and this is a very sticky part of the course there going through that muddy bit some parts of the course a little bit higher up very slippery at this bottom part of the course but less than a kilometre to go now to the finish Koech of Kenya Demo of Kenya Kipkita, Sammy Kipkita, the 19-year-old, he's up there, 3-1-8, second uh, last year. But it's still this youngster, Enoch Koech. Bikili of Ethiopia, Limo of Kenya just ahead of him. Coming in, turning round, they'll be seeing the finish very shortly, and Koech certainly seems to be able to cope with these sticky conditions very well indeed. And Craig Mottram, the young Australian, running absolutely brilliantly in uh, unexpected conditions because he's been running in Australia and indeed he came across to Lisbon for the IF World Indoor Championships where he was 8th at 3,000 metres. So running really well as Enoch Koic comes in to win the men's short race title in these World Championships. A brilliant run. He's uh, led for a substantial part of the way. And Enoch Koic of Kenya striding out for home looking really good the battle on for the minor places behind him but Koic seems to have got it really won as he can see the finish in sight battle on behind him gaining ground a little bit but they've left it too late Koic has really got away 3-2-4 Ben Limo behind him 3-1-4 Cyrus Cataron and on the left of the screen Kenanisa Bakili of Ethiopia Koic is being caught but he had such a lead, I think he's going to make it all right to the line. Bikili running on his own, the Ethiopian out on the left of the screen there. But Koic it is who's going to come in to take the title. Enoch Koic of Kenya wins it. Kenanisa Bikili of Ethiopia in second. Ben Limo, Sami Kipkita, Cyrus Catalon, Albert Chepkarui. The Kenyans finishing in close order behind. Then John Kibberwen, the previous winner, ahead of Craig Mottram. The Bulami of Morocco, the steeplechaser. Hailu Mekanen of Ethiopia, expected him to come a little higher. And then more Moroccans, they're packing really well. Adil Kaouch, who was fifth in the World Indoor 1500. And Mohamed Saeed El Wadi, just ahead of another Ethiopian, Dagny Alamu. So the three African nations, Kenya, Ethiopia, Morocco, have packed in all their runners in the top 20. Americans going well, Brad Hauser through the line. Tim Bro and Andrew Downing also close up. Then the first European, Luciano Di Pardo of Italy. He's coming in in 20th place as the rest of the runners now flock through and the officials do their best to sort them out at the funnel there. And in the short race cross country, always very difficult indeed to sort out the athletes. But here is Enoch Koic of Kenya making a brilliant debut on the international scene by taking the IAF short race cross-country title. Bikilia of Ethiopia second, then the massed ranks of five Kenyans in third through to seventh places before the brilliant run of Craig Mottram of Australia in eighth place. Kenya took the team title quite easily and Morocco just came up to beat Ethiopia for the silver medals. So here's the presentation ceremony with Enoch Koic taking the gold medal. Nice check for him too with the prize money that is now awarded for individuals and teams in these IF World Championships. Kenya once again dominant as is nearly always the case in World Cross Country. Certainly they have always been the team winners of the short race championship. And Enoch Koic is another star to add to their great team. Ben Limo, Sammy Kipkita, Cyrus Capture and Albert Chikkarui ensuring Kenya of team victory. Well now we come now to we the, come to the final race of these championships. It's the men's long course race and the hopes of Belgium will be on this man, Mohamed Mourit, who was the champion of the year 2000 and now on home soil will be hoping for a repeat success but the Kenyans will of course be favorites the winner for 15 successive years from 1986 and that's their team Ivuti, Kamathi, Korea, Kozgai, 
Richard Limo and Mite. Terrific team. The Portuguese, strong as always, headed by the European champion, four times European champion, Paulo Guerra there, number 406. Donelas also likely prominent. And indeed, Domingos Castro, the world silver medalist at 5,000 metres, right back in 1987. Now the Kenyans have been so dominant in recent years, 15 successive wins, the Ethiopians of course, the winners the five years before then, back in the 1980s. It was Kenya, Ethiopia, Portugal, the 1-2-3 in both 1999 and 2000, and the familiar sight of the Kenyans. 3-2-6, Enoch Mitai, the newcomer to their team, just ahead of 3-2-5, Richard Limo. 3-2-2, Paul Koskai, the former World Junior record of the steeplechase, now moving up to the longer distances. He's previously won the uh, run in the 4K of these uh, championships before. 3-2-4. 3-2-6, rather, Mitai. Kenyans always running as a team. They often send one of their less experienced members to just uh, take the pace out and that may well be the job assigned to uh, Mitai this time but there's Morik, number 55, prominent the man who won last year having previously been 7th, 8th and 5th the championship bronze medalist of course at 5,000 metres on the track and recently the world indoor silver medalist at 3,000 metres to show he's in great form as we look down the massed ranks of uh, 170 starters in this long course race Kenya very much prominent in the early stages. A lot of Europeans though up there, which is uh, encouraging because they didn't do very well in the short course race. The Spaniards were 155. Alberto Garcia there in the centre of the screen. He's prominent. He was third in the World Indoor 3000 meters. So a number of the finalists there running again over the country. 313 right on the left of the screen that's Charles Kamathi well what a great race he had against Mohamed Morit when he first emerged on the scene two years ago at 10,000 meters in Brussels when Kamathi astonished Morit by beating him Morit set a European record that day good to see Bob Kennedy there the American uh, the bearded man coming back he missed a lot of last year through injury but really running very prominently indeed that's the American record holder at 3,000 meters and 5,000 meters Americans having a good championships here with Fritzenheim taking the bronze in the junior race. It's Morit, number 55, in the lead. The rest of the Kenyans, Richard Limo, 325, former Commonwealth bronze medalist at 5,000 metres. 322, just uh, behind Morit is Paul Kosgai. He must be one of the favourites. Second in the Kenyan trials. The Kenyans, of course, missing Paul Turgat this year. He was third in their trials but has decided to, for once, forsake the cross-country, at which he's been world champion five times, in order to concentrate on preparing for his marathon debut in London in a month's time. 3-1-3, Kamathi, 3-2-2, Kozgai with Morit. And number 200, he's prominent, the Frenchman, Driss El Hima, third in the European Championships last year. And indeed, there's uh, a lot of prominent Europeans up there, Sergei Lebed, of uh, the Ukraine, second in the European Championships, former winner of that race. He wears 5-1-3. He's going well. Well, the Europeans had a disastrous race in the uh, short course championships when their best placer was 20th. And indeed, in the junior men's, they had to go right the way back to 35th place to find the first European. But there are quite a lot prominent in that leading group. And also one man from South America there with Cilio of Argentina. Where's number 22? Ethiopians not so prominent at the moment, slightly surprisingly. And you've got Ad Masu, wearing 180. That's their leading placer at present. But it's still fairly early stages in this 12-kilometer race at present. 313, Kamathi. 312, that's Patrick Ivuti. Ivuti was fourth last year third in the recent Kenyan Armed Force Championships but Guerra of Portugal also running very well the fair haired man wearing 406 and some of the Kenyans dropping back a bit slightly surprisingly 
three two six Mitai we just saw going through there but three of them prominent at the head of affairs three one three Kamathi three two two Koskai three one two Ivuti further down five two nine Kafsazigi for the Americans Americans packing well with Kennedy and Kafsazigi and Abdirahman number five one six so they must be in contention for a team medal so Kamathi now in the lead then Morit then 312 just putting his hand out there that's Ivuti Paolo Guerra 406 on the inside El Hima the Frenchman wearing 200 Lebed of the Ukraine wearing 313 just behind that leading group 410 Helder Ornelas of Portugal he like Guerra running really well and packing well for the Portuguese team who were the bronze medalist on the last two occasions that these championships have been run championships often varying conditions sometimes we get very flat hard conditions over uh, horse race uh, tracks well this is a horse race track but it's muddy here in Ostend in Belgium the championships of course which had to be diverted here at very short notice originally due to be held in Dublin Ireland cancelled because of the foot and mouth crisis and the championships have been awarded to Dublin next year they were first switched to Brussels in Belgium but then with the realisation that there was much more hotel accommodation in Ostend, the seaside holiday resort, and they were switched here. The Belgian Championships were held here a week ago, and now they're doing an excellent job of staging these World Cross Country Championships. It's the leading group with the three Kenyans, with Mohit of Belgium, in the hopes of the crowd very much on hit for him to repeat the win that he gained last year. El Hima of the France in the blue, Ornelas of Portugal and Guerra of Portugal up there in the leading group looking back down 529 that's Kefla Zigi of the USA we're seeing again once again the Americans running well Stefko of Slovakia also up there running 441 and another Frenchman Mustafa Al Hamadi in that leading group Mustafa Al Hamadi wearing 199 but more it is who takes up the running a long way still to go but it's stretching them, Kamathi there, 3-1-3, then the Portuguese, Guerra and Ornelas. And then Lebed. Lebed's got a good race uh, record, I must say, the 25-year-old Ukrainian. Terrific uh, series of wins this season in Valladolid and in Seville and in Fuensalida. Quite interesting, many of these men actually, actually ran in the recent five mils race. Well, the order on that occasion with Kamathi, Lebed, Morit and Gera. And then going back to a muddy conditions in Seville, it was Kamathi, Lebed, Gera and Morit. But this time Morit seems to be likely to finish a little higher up. 157, Alejandro Gomez of Spain, running in around 10th place. But now, oh, slipping in these uh, tricky conditions, it's Morit in the lead. Morit seeming wanting to strike for home from Paul Cosguy. Morit it is opening up perhaps a bit of a gap here. Terrific support there'll be from the home crowd. Mohamed Morit, who overcame the teamwork of the Kenyans to win in 2000. And now looks like he may well be heading for a repeat victory here in Ostend. He's certainly stretching away now, Morit, from Kosguy, who seems to be spent. Morit opening up more and more of a gap, and Kosguy looks back over his shoulder. Very different conditions from when Morit ran in uh, Villa Mora in Portugal a year ago. But now, stretching away. There's still a long way to go in this race, but Morit has opened up a significant gap. Interesting that he should want to and feel good enough to strike for home so early in this race. Still a couple of kilometres to go. With looking back, it's Kosguy, then the Frenchman El Hima. Just behind him, another Kenyan, Ivuti. And the crowd building excitement as they can see Morit out on his own. The next group of, what, uh, six or seven men, though pretty closely bunched, more it goes through, just a lap to go. Here's Kosguy. Guerra running well, just behind El Hima, with the other two Kenyans still up there. 
Ibuti wearing 3-1-2. Kamathi, 3-1-3. Ibuti now a little bit more prominent. Has uh, moved into second place. Lebed at the back there in the blue and yellow of Ukraine. Still trying to stick with them. Then Onelas of Portugal in eighth place. There's Moura. Lovely shot of a man spattered with mud but running strongly. Lebed here. He's just lost uh, a little bit of ground back in seventh place. Onelas in eighth. Gomez in ninth behind them. Morit, not far to go now, just checks round to see how he's going. And the answer is that he's got a good lead on the chasing pack. That's a lap runner. Look at that gap. There we are, there's the next group. Guerra now has moved into second place, just ahead of Kamathi. So the Moroccan-born, now Belgian citizen, Mohamed Morit, on home soil in Ostend, Strikes out for the finish. The winner in Portugal in Villa Moura in the year 2000. And now, surely, the winner in Ostend in Belgium. The IAF long race world champion for the second year in a row. Mohamed Morit, silver medalist on the track indoors at 3,000 metres. Bronze medalist at 5,000 metres outdoors two years ago. And now for the second time, world cross-country champion. Mohamed Morit winning for Belgium. And what a battle there is behind him for the runners up space. And Lebed has come all the way through the field. He looked tailed off at one time. He comes through for second. Kamathi takes third. Paulo Guerra for Portugal is fourth. Then Paul Kozgai of Kenya. Dressel Hima of France just pattering across the line. Just ahead of Patrick of Vuti of Kenya. Three Kenyans already in. Then Onelas of Portugal. But up front, it was Mohamed Morit. Quite a battle then for the lesser places. El Hamadi of France just ahead of Bob Kennedy of the USA looking back for the fourth Kenyan. There he comes now, in fact, and I think it may be enough to take them to the team victory. Enoch Mitai finishing in 18th place as Morit. We look back and seeing him blow kisses to the crowd as he is once again world cross-country champion and the IF president, Lamin Dia, is there shaking his hand first. Morit now takes the flowers as the IAF World Cross Country Champion. And a wonderful run by Sergei Lebed for the Ukraine in second place. Charles Kamathi moving up from seventh last year to third this year. So what a way to end these mud spattered championships in Ostend in Belgium for the triumph for classy running as epitomized here by Mohamed Murat of Belgium. And very fitting that there should be a Belgian victory here. And full marks to the Belgians for staging these championships in great style. And so, farewell from the IF World Cross Country Championships from me, Peter Matthews.